What's up, Facebook? How y'all doing? How's everybody? Happy Sunday to you. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great week. I've had a fun, uh, fantastic week as usual. I say I have a fantastic week because, quite frankly, regardless how my week goes, I'm just happy to be alive. So it's always great to me. Uh, yeah, it is. So that's just the way I look at it because what's the point in complaining about it? People go, why Why complain? You know, nobody wants to hear you complain. People love to hear you complain. You know why? So they can laugh at you later. Yeah, gives us something to talk about. Gives us something to laugh at later on. So, yeah, people do actually listen when you complain. They do. Because, quite frankly, I know I used to say, you can complain about something. And when you complain about it, when you really stop and think about it, how bad your situation is or how bad you think your situation is, you can look left and then you can look right. And then you start back to the center. And before you get to center, you'll find somebody who's got it a whole lot worse than you do. So, hey, life can always be worse. So, therefore, you know, be happy with what you got, because like you say, it's always somebody doing better, worse than you are. You know, you may be sitting on the bus stop with two dollars in your pocket waiting on a bus. It may be somebody walking up the street trying to hitchhike because they ain't got money to catch the bus. Dig what I'm saying. So I'm looking into my magic mirror. Yeah, around the room. And I see Matt and I see the net and I see Charlotte. I thank y'all for hanging out with me this evening. It's another edition. Matter of fact, the eighth edition of uh, What the Hell Longhorn. And uh, I see you, Kobe, hanging out with me this evening. Like I said, it's the eighth edition, eighth episode of What the Hell Longhorn. And tonight what we're going to talk about is how do you see you? Yeah, self-image. Self-image is everything. It, it really is. The definition of self-image is the idea one has of one's abilities, appearance, and personality. Yeah, basically, how do you see you? That's what it comes down to. That's what it boils down to. Hold on one second. Somebody just walked in my studio. Who is that? Who's in my studio? Uh-oh. We got a special guest on the... What's, uh, Look who's come to visit. And she got a snotty nose and everything. Let's get that yeah, let's get that together. That's, there's my son right there with me. And there's my, Say hi. See, look, look, look. Look, say hi. You wave, say hi. Okay, I got a smile, so. Yep. Grandbaby number seven. Grand, oh, oh. She's getting heavy. Big girl. Hey, what's up, Les? I see you. So, all right, Papa doing the show. So can you let Papa do his show and I'll come get you in a few minutes, okay? All right, you see what happens when you do your studio in the basement? People just show up on you. So all right, here you go, son. Take upstairs for me. Papa be up there in a few minutes, okay? Bye, Papa. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Bye bye. Papa be up there in a few minutes, okay? So August come to visit me on my show today. So uh, I guess y'all see uh me smile. Yeah, she she makes me smile. Yes, she does. That's uh yeah, that's my girl right there. Anyway, so like I said, we was talking about self-image. Self-image is everything. There's, it's, it's, it's all about, it's not all just about how you see you, but it is a lot about how you see you. And your self-image is, honestly, is, is what other people see. Is what is the result of how others see you individually. You know, the self-image results from the individual perception of themselves. Self-image resulting from how individuals perceive you to be. Just like people, they have a perception of what they think I am or who they think I am. But Longhorn is one guy up on stage and then Vernon Davis is a whole nother guy. And sometimes, yeah, that's Papa's in the house. Sometimes some people see both Longhorn and Vernon at the same time. And it confuses the hell out of them because they're like, whoa, I thought you was a real serious guy. And then, they, then Longhorn kind of slips out and says something stupid. And uh, but still is what people see. The image that you give them, you know, your self image is a mental picture of yourself, both physical and, you know, physical in your body. So therefore, you got to ask yourself, what do people see when they look at me? Do they see what I want them to see or am there or am I just a reflection of what they think I should be? <clears throat> because. A lot of times we try to live up to the image that other people have of us instead of being the image or instead of projecting the image of who we really are. You know, case in point, you know, we have to be one way at work because we have to fit into that work culture. You know, we have to be who they want us to be because guess what? That's what they're paying us to be. 
I heard a guy the other day say, oh, man, I don't know why they tripping with me. They knew what I was like when they hired me. No, they didn't know that, what you was like when they hired you. They hired a resume and they hired your represent your representative that was in the interview that sat up straight and sat back in the chair and was prim and prep proper, you know. But then two weeks later, the real you came out and they found out that, um, yeah, who you really were, you know, so. I'm proud to call you my friend and my brother too, Terry. What's up, bro? I see you. So they didn't know who they was hiring. They they hired the, they hired the image that you portrayed, that you put out there. You know, so we have that positive self-image, which is the one that stands tall, looks good, you know, actually irons your clothes before you walk out the door because you're projecting that you are a positive person. You know, you're, you're a person of confidence, that you're a person uh, who believes in who you are and what you are. But then there's that negative side that can come out, which sometimes comes from low self-esteem, comes from things that have happened in your life, comes from things that people have said about you in your life that makes you think that you are unworthy, that you are irrelevant, makes you feel awkward, you know, even incompetent because that negative side's come out of you. And that negative side will affect your self-image in ways that you don't even imagine. Uh, the way people won't see you the way that you would like for them to. Yeah. You know, have you ever heard that phrase, uh, he, wears his, uh, he wears his emotions on the sleeve, or she wears her emotions on the sleeve, or they take everything so seriously? Those are very, very true, and they affect your self-image. They, they affect how people see you, and if People do not, if you do not come across with a positive self-image, then that's how people will treat you or because it's true. And Maya Angelou once said, people, you, you teach people how to treat you. You want them to teach you, treat you uh, with a positive note, then you have to project yourself. You have to present yourself positively. If you want to walk in with, you know, I'm Billy Badass, then everybody's going to treat you with a negative connotation because that is the image that you are projecting to them. You are projecting to them that I'm better than this, you know, plain and simple. Or you're projecting that negative when quite frankly, I know in this day and age, <clears throat> everybody's talking about keep it real and I'm woke and all these other little fun cat catchphrases, but we just gonna go back to old school. When you look good, you feel good. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, I think I was about 10 years old. I was riding a, a public bus in uh, New Orleans. See, that's when, you know, kids could do that and not worry about somebody snatching them up. And there was this guy on there. He was a heavy set guy and he was um, wearing an old raggedy jacket and he had on some coveralls or striped coveralls and a shirt and he had on a tie. And that tie looked like he had been wearing it for probably a week. It was pretty, pretty rough looking. And I asked him one day, man, why do you wear that tie? He says, because it makes me feel good. I never forgot that. You know, other people probably looked at him like he's just a bum, you know, walk around in coveralls with a tie on. But no, he said that tie made him feel good. And I had that's just that much more respect for him. Oh, and he also carried a briefcase. Don't know what was in the briefcase. Didn't even ask. Could have been body parts. Wasn't my place. I wasn't trying to find out. So healthy self a healthy self image is crucial to your happiness and we all want to be happy right i know i want to be happy you want to be happy we all want to be happy but it's very very crucial you know your uh emotional stability is a big one yeah you know, when you love yourself you know you won't try so hard to please others <clears throat> i'm gonna clear my throat and say that again when you love yourself you won't try so hard to please others and we do try to we do try hard to please those around us. And sometimes we over we, we go overboard with it, especially when we're lacking something, that emotional stability in our life. We uh, try to compensate is what we try to do. We try to try to make up for what we feel like is missing. You know, you uh, your life becomes easier when you have a positive attitude. You'd be surprised. There's, there's a um, they say opposites attract, which is true. But quite frankly, when you, there was what's that old saying, fake it till you make it. Money brings money. There's another one. But basically, when you 
when you your life is so much easier when you believe in you, when you believe in what you're doing, when you have confidence in the direction that you're going. You'd be surprised the things that fall into play. Case in point, like thank you for your service. Y'all heard me say I was going to let thank you for your service go in November. Well, after a conversation with my son, the one that was just here, conversation with my son, wife, and three other phone calls going, no, I don't think so. I don't think you should let that go. I don't think thank you for your service to go away. And I thank all y'all who did contact me about it. I felt better about it. And things started to fall into place about it. So thank you for your service is going to continue. But it was a positive, it was a positive thing. It was, you know, it was a positive thing. And the image that thank you for your service projects is a positive thing. So therefore, when you get positive, more positive comes with it, if that makes any sense. Better relationships. When you're positive, when you're happy, when you're moving in a good direction, then the people around you are happy to be around you because don't get me wrong. You know, we, we all know we try to move away from that person that's negative. Yeah, it's like, nah, dog, go ahead. We, I'm cool on you. That's not where I'm trying to be because, quite frankly, we got enough negativity in the world already. But when you have a positive, uh, positive self-image, a positive feel about yourself, your relationships go much better. You're able to accomplish more. And the biggest one is you have to avoid sabotaging yourself. Yeah, you have to avoid because we are we are our worst enemy. Yes, we are. We tear ourselves down so bad. They say family. Nobody do you like family. But no, we are our worst enemies. We destroy ourselves with talking us and talking down to ourselves looking down upon ourselves you know we self-loathing kills our self-image and all those things they come to the surface and they come out of your pores like you've been out drinking cheap liquor all night and people can smell it on you and it stinks just as bad as cheap liquor here's how i'm gonna give you a few pointers on how you can you know, create a better self-image. I'm not saying that you have a bad self-image, but don't get me wrong. I know I'm constantly working on me. And I hope you're constantly working on you. Uh, I'll be blah, blah, blah years old next Sunday. And I'm still working on me. I'm still reading books. I'm still reading articles. I'm still watching videos. I'm still watching people because I want to project a better self-image of who I am. I have my moments, I do, where, you know, yeah, I get a little down on Longhorn, Vernon, both of them at the same time, but I know I have to keep projecting that, the self-image that I want the world to see. So I'm going to go through a few things that's going that can help you if you take them. Great. If you don't, I understand, but I'm just here to try to share some great information with you. So uh, first step, stop being a perfectionist. Yes. Stop being a perfectionist. Stop being afraid to fail. Every failure brings you that much closer to success. How old is that? <laughs> Let's just say uh, I went to the prime with Harriet Tubman. How about that? So control your thoughts. Your thoughts, man. Your there's this thing that they say, you know, what you speak is what you get. What you put out into the universe is what comes back to you. So watch the negative talk about yourself, about your situation, about those around you. Control your thoughts. Control what you say. Your tongue is very, very, very powerful. Look inside yourself honestly. Look at you. Take a look in the mirror and tell yourself and tell me, is that who you want to be? Yeah. And you know, the hardest thing in the world for us to do is to look at ourselves in the mirror. They say it's hard to watch ourselves on video or to hear ourselves talk. But the hardest thing is to look yourself in the eye, in the mirror, and assess, and assess who you are. Is this who you want to be? Is this what you want to be? Is this what you want people to see? Me, I go back and forth about this gray. As you see, it changes. You know, sometimes I'm wearing it, sometimes I'm not. I go. I thought about. I thought about dyeing it, but I'm afraid of looking like a magic marker exploded on my lip. You know. But look at yourself honestly. Assess yourself honestly. Find out what it is that you want to be. 
or that you need to be or who you need to be or the image that you are wanting to portray and move in that direction. Okay, Terry, you'll be 54 in eight weeks. Eight weeks. I'll be 53 next week. Shh, don't tell nobody. Um, change what you can. Yeah, change what you can and little, let go of what you can. Okay, so you got a big-ass mole right here in the middle of your forehead. You can't change that. Or maybe you can. Maybe you got great insurance, and they'll cut it off for you. Maybe you can't. You know, maybe you want, you know, if you got that big old mole in the middle of your forehead, look like a third eye, maybe you may want to put some eyelashes on it, make it look like a real eye. Basically, take what you got and work with it. Yeah. Just like I made, I, mean, I was joking earlier, but I said, when, uh, when I hit the lottery, I'll become big, I'm going to get my, I'm sorry, this one, I'm going to get my lazy eye fixed. All right? It's just those little things, you know. Don't compare yourselves to others. That's a big one. Because we're always looking at others going, man, and somebody said it last week, the crab in the in the crabs in the barrel mentality. Don't worry about what the next man got. Don't worry about what the next woman got. What what what's I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say what God has for you is for you. Can't nobody take that from you. What's for you is for you. Don't worry about the person next to you. Don't worry about the person down the street. Don't worry about the your coworker that got a 25 cents raise an hour because two weeks from now you may get a dollar raise and while you're spending that time worrying about what somebody else got you're taking away from the opportunity of controlling your self-image because while you're worrying about other people then you're not looking at you you're not keeping yourself positive you're 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 dwelling on the negative stay positive daily affirmation remind yourself every day of the things that you appreciate about yourself. Yeah, I got great teeth, I got great hair, I'm able to make people smile, I'm able to make people laugh, I can run the 100 yard dash in 32 seconds. Whatever it is that you can do, appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate the fact that you are, you have your arms, your legs, full use of your arms, your legs, you can speak, you have uh, control of your mind. Appreciate those things. You know, you may have got a new walker. Hey, I appreciate the new walker. You know, it's got the brakes on it this time, and you can turn it around, and there's a little seat on it. Appreciate the things, every daily affirmations, because as I said in the beginning, things could always be worse. But the things that that you internalize, the things that you put out, is what the world sees. If you put out negativity, that's your self-image. That's what the world sees. If you put out positivity, that's what the world sees. People are attracted to positive. Negative, they run from. And last but not least, surround yourself with supportive people. Yeah. Surround yourself with, with them. Please do. Because quite frankly, misery loves company. So therefore, those who are miserable want you to be just as miserable as they are. Those that don't have, they want you to have less than what they have. But when you're around people who want the best for you they will help you to get the best they will help you to reach those goals they will help you they will see things in you that you don't even see and begin to help you move in that direction by surrounding yourself with positive people supportive people people who love and care for you and there's a lot of them out there your self-image is in your hands is for you to control is for you to put out there and whatever it is that you put out there, that's what it is. Nobody gets to call it. Nobody gets to change it but you. You know, they that's just real stuff. You know, as, as much as I'd like to tell you different, what you put out there is what you put out there. Stop blaming other people for where you're at. You're at a point now where you've grown. You have moved on. You know how to change some things. The things you can change, change. And the things that you can't, hey, you can't. But just be happy with who you are and show it. Your self-image is like money. Yeah. The more positive and confident you are in you, the more confident other people will be in you as well. So respect our vets. Hug one. Kiss one. Take one to dinner. Love each other. Take care of yourselves. Respect yourselves. 
kiss and hug your kids. And thank God for another day. I'm Longhorn the Comedian. This has been another episode of What the Hell Longhorn. $2.